I am Anil Kumar sharing with you solution to some questions from the book Nelson. This is question number 6 page 362 as requested by my subscriber John. The question here is, to test the resistance of a new product to temperature changes, the product is placed in a controlled environment. The temperature in this environment as a function of time can be described by a sine function. The maximum temperature is 120 degrees centigrade. The minimum temperature is minus 60 degrees Celsius and the temperature at t equals to 0 is 30 degrees Celsius. It takes 12 hours for the temperature to change from maximum to minimum. If the temperature is initially increasing, what is the equation of the sine function that describes the temperature in this environment? So we will use the transformed equation for trigonometric function. This time we are interested in sine function. In general, we can write equation as y equals to a times sine of k times x minus d plus c, right? So that is the general form of the equation, where a is the amplitude, k is number of cycles in 2 pi, and D is horizontal translation or phase shift, C is the vertical translation or the axis for this particular function. Now, in the question, what are we given? We are given maximum temperature of 120. So let's write down maximum temperature is 120 degrees Celsius. Minimum is equals to minus 60 degrees Celsius, right? T0 is 30. It starts with 30. And we are also given that it takes 20 hours for the temperature to change from maximum to minimum. So, so let's just sketch this kind of a function. It starts with 30. So, if we just sketch a sine function here, what we are given here is Let us say we are given here the maximum 120, the minimum as minus 60. The mean or the average of these two is what? The average of these two is for us is, is the axis C. So C is equals to add them divide by 2. So it is 120 plus minus 60 divide by 2. So that is the average which gives you 120 minus 60 is 60 divided by 2 which is indeed 30, right? So this is this is 30 for us, right? So this is 30 for us and at t equals to 0, temperature starts from 30 degrees. So the function starts actually from here itself and it goes upwards. So our y-axis is along this side. Perfect. So that means there is no phase shift, or I can say d is equal to zero for us, right? So that becomes the sine wave, and it takes 12 hours for the temperature to change from maximum to minimum, right? So from maximum, from this point to this point, it takes 12 hours. Now remember, this is half the cycle. From maximum to minimum is half the cycle, right? Between two maximums or between two minimums is one full cycle. So that means time period for us is t should be twice 12. So time period will be 2 times 12, which is 24, right? Once we know time period, I'm running out of space, so I'll just squeeze in the equation here itself. Once we know the time period, we can find the value of k, which is 2 pi by t, right? So in our case, it is 2 pi by 2 times 12. So 2 and 2 cancel, so we get k as pi by 12. So we have all the values now. A, the amplitude is difference between amplitude will be uh, difference between the mean and the maximum which in this case will be 120 
minus 30, right? So that is the amplitude difference between maximum and the average value which we got. We could find like this also. And we could also find by subtracting maximum, minimum and dividing by 2, right? So, okay, let me just squeeze it in. A, I should have done it earlier, 120 minus of minus 60 divided by 2, right? That gives us 180 divided by 2 equals to 90. That is the value of A, right? Knowing all these values, we can write down the equation for the function, which is going to be y equals to A value is 90, sine of k is pi by 12, x and d is 0 so that's it and c is 30 for us plus 30 so the function represents this sine function represents or describes the temperature in this environment right so that becomes the answer for the given situation now as an added exercise i will request you to write this equation as a cosine function that will be a good exercise right and the hint for you is that the cosine function starts from the maximum. That means that means the maximum is so many units away, right? So, you know, the time period here is, let me write down the time period, which is 24, right? So, it is starting from here, 0. This part is 24. Here we have 12, half the cycle, correct? It is 6 and 18. So, is a phase shift by 6 to the right. Perfect. So, we'll have ds6 for the cosine function. That will be the only change. The rest of the things will remain same. So, let me write cosine function also for you here. Uh, at times, that could be your test problems. Sine replaced by cosine, right? Pi by 12, time period and everything remains same. However, we have phase shift since it the maximum is after 6 hours, correct? So, it will be minus 6, correct? Plus 30. So, that becomes your cosine function for the same situation. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.